Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here we have the best of Super Saiyan now live on the Unity Asset Store. This one is all about celebrating the best assets of the last 10 years on the store, all of them at 50% off. So since this sale is all about the best assets, pretty much everything here is awesome. And one particular thing about this sale are the daily deals. For example, today, for a few more hours, you can get the Apocalypse Pack at 70% off instead of the normal 50%. Tomorrow you have the Puppet Master and so on. You can see what assets will be on the daily deal and when. Also, if you're interested in the more premium tools like Unity Mars or Art Engine, you can get a nice gift when you purchase Unity Pro or Enterprise. Alright, so now let's check out some of the assets on this sale. So first of all, let's look at the Polygon Apocalypse Pack, which is the current daily deal. It's made by Synthi Studios, which always makes some awesome asset packs. Features everything you could possibly need to make a survival game or zombie game or really anything with an apocalypse setting. It includes over 1800 detailed prefabs. All of the buildings have enterable interiors with lots of modular pieces. Contains 30 characters, 17 vehicles, 80 weapons and over 600 props. Like I said, this one is the daily deal for today, so if you're interested, make sure you pick it up quickly. Now back into the main sale page. This sale really has tons and tons of assets, there's over 700. So thankfully the main page is organized into these nice categories. So you've got tons of 3D assets, tools, templates, VFX, and more. Okay, let's check out some highlights. First up, here's Clixels. This is an awesome tool that lets you very easily create some shapes that look like they've been sculpted out of clay. It makes a very unique and very striking visual. I've mentioned this one before and I've already picked it up myself in another sale. As someone who doesn't have any 3D modeling skills, I'm very interested in trying this one out. Then for some animations, here is the Runner Action Animation Pack. Contains over 300 animations, perfect for runner games or action characters. It's got some really awesome smooth motion, so you have running, jumping, sliding, falling, rolls, flips, attacks, and even some awesome wall running. Very easy to apply to any humanoid character. For some awesome environments, check out this cyberpunk pack. Contains more than 300 models, all of them really gorgeous looking, so if you're upset that Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed, maybe try making your own. Or maybe you want something more in the distant past, so check out this Stone Age pack. Perfect for some sort of village simulator game. Tons of assets along with animations, rocks, trees, tools, and so on. Or maybe you want a normal city like this Polygon City pack. It has low poly cartoony assets with tons of props, buildings, characters, vehicles, and so on. I'm thinking of making a city sandbox minigame soon, so I might pick this one up for myself. Next up, the patch updating system. I've seen some comments on my videos asking how such a system is done, and my answer is always that it's a very complex topic, so this is the perfect thing to pick up as an asset in order to save you tons of time. This supports patching with a binary diff algorithm, handles corruption, synchronization, auto-updates, and it works through a basic HTTP server. This one will be on the daily deal soon, so keep that tab open. Then for an awesome template, you have the third-person controller template. Easily make third-person games similar to Bloodborne or some side-scrollers, or make an awesome third-person shooter. It's a very complete template containing tons of animations, shooting mechanics, lock-on system, archery, inventory, rig doll, leathers, and so on. Also has some demos so you can try it out to see it in action. Then for some props, check out the Low Poly Ultimate Pack. I actually used quite a lot of these props this weekend when making my racing RTS for the Mixing Game Jam. It really is a massive pack with over a thousand objects, includes tons of unique themes like medieval, western, fantasy, Japan, and more. Really awesome pack, so if you're working on a low poly game, definitely check it out. For some interesting characters, here's the modular fantasy hero. Customize anything with over 700 unique modular pieces. So the amount of variation that you can create is nearly infinite, so if you have a fantasy game, then this is pretty much all you need for all of your characters. Or if you're looking for some normal looking people, check out the Advanced People Pack. Normal looking humans, again, also with tons and tons of customization. Then for some awesome particles, here's the Epic Tune VFX. Features over 300 unique VFX, with most of them available in four colors. You've got 2D and 3D effects, and also includes sound effects for missiles and explosions, and it even features some animated emoticons, so something that would be perfect for adding a simple chat emotion system to your game, or adding some flavor to your enemies. Or maybe you're into more realistic effects, so check out the realistic effects pack, just drag and drop and use them in your game. Really good looking effects that perfectly fit a realistic art style. If you like making games with tons of dialogue, then check out Storyteller. It's a visual tool for very easily building complex dialogue logic. 
supports text and voice along with character sprites, cutscene setup and localization. It's a fully featured package that will certainly improve your workflow when working on story and character interactions. This one is also part of the upcoming daily deal, so stay tuned. Then for some utilities, first you've got the great Odin Inspector. It takes the normal inspector and really makes it special. Easily create custom editors for all of your scripts, make them really easy to use with buttons, images, groups, and so on. This is one of those assets that I've been meaning to try out but haven't had the time yet. It's always on the top sellers list and always with excellent reviews. For a special console, check out the Editor Console Pro. Keep your console nice and organized with tons of colors, icons, and custom groups. Use the advanced search to find exactly what you're looking for. Easily export the logs to a text file so you can analyze it later. Tons and tons of features to really help you make your games. And for adding some awesome juice to your game, check out MM Feedbacks. This is an excellent pack to really take your game to the next level. Easily add screen shake, zooms, flashes, audio, particles, animations, freeze frames, slow motion, and tons more. Also includes the nice vibrations package to easily add haptics and rumble into your games. Okay, so those are just some of the assets and there's lots, lots more. There's over 700 asset packs currently discounted, so I only highlighted a tiny amount. Check the sale page to browse all of the categories and I'm sure you'll find something perfect just for you. If anything catches your eye and you think it might be a good fit for whatever game you're working on, check the link in the description. That link is an affiliate link, so if you pick up anything through there, you'll also be helping out the channel. Also, remember to check the daily deal page regularly so you don't miss out on any of those daily deals. And if you're interested in Unity Pro, don't miss out on the chance to get some extremely valuable gifts. Alright, so thanks for watching, I hope you found some interesting assets, and I'll see you next time.